Hello, uh, we are going to go through how to do a normal um, distribution type problem on the TI-84+. Um, first of all, all of our distributions are under this VARS button right here. So to get um, the distributions, it's in blue. So you want to use second and then the VARS button. In chapter six, the two distributions uh, buttons that we'll be using are actually number two and number three. So we'll be using normal CDF and inverse normal. Um, we will not be using normal PDF. It does not make sense in the context of our problem. So um, these are the two that we'll be using. So if you are trying to find a probability, you will be using normal CDF if you're doing a probability or area. Once you hit enter, some of you will have a screen that pops up like this. Some of you will just have an open parenthesis. If you have an open parenthesis, um, you will be typing in the same commands I am, um, just with commas in between. So the lower would be your lower z value. Let's just say it goes all the way down to negative infinity. That would be the number negative e99. The way you type that in, if this isn't already typed into yours, it's the negative button down here, and then e is second, and then the comma button and then 99. So that would be from negative infinity. And let's just say the top value that we want to use is, oh, how about 1.5? So this would be a distribution where we want to figure out what's the probability from negative infinity to 1.5, or in other words, anything less than 1.5. This is how we would type that in. Um, as long as these are given in z-scores, you want to always leave the mean as 0 and the standard deviation as 1. We will get to some real life problems where they're going to change that up on us. Um, but for this situation, we want to leave those the same. Um, and then hit paste. Now, again, if you don't have this nice screen like I do, you're going to type in negative E99, comma, 1.5, comma, 0, comma, 1. And then go ahead and hit enter. And yours will look like this. And when you hit enter, we should all have the same thing. It will be 0 0.933, um, and we round out to four decimal places, so I would put down on my paper 0 0.9332. So this is, with a normal distribution, this answer is saying that we have a 93% chance of landing somewhere between negative infinity and 1.5 on a normal distribution. Okay. Another way of saying that is there's a 93% of our data will be less than 1.5 standard deviations away from the mean. Okay, so we'll be this is 1.5 above, um, and so we're doing anything less than that. Now I always say an interesting thing is what if I were to change this from negative infinity to positive infinity? What should this number be? It should be one. It should be 100 percent. Okay, so we could try that again with those numbers. Or what if I said from um, how about from a half? to infinity, so from or from 0 to infinity, sorry, from the middle of our graph to infinity. So I'm going to go back to that distribution. I'm going to try one more. I think this one's kind of interesting. So the lower bound, I'm going to make it be 0. That's the middle of the graph. That's the mean. And the upper bound, I'm going to make that be positive infinity. So second E99. Okay, so that's from the middle of the graph to positive infinity. Leave the 0 and the 1 the same, so 0, comma 1, and everyone's screen should look like that. And then go ahead and hit Enter, and this says basically 50%. 50% lies between 0 and infinity. Um, I know this doesn't quite look like 0.5, but this is the best our calculator will do because it can't go out to infinity. Um, you're going to have some questions that ask you to find the z value based on a certain percent. So when it does that, you actually have to use the second distribution and you go down and to number three, inverse norm. The order of the commands on inverse norm is you type in the area first, then you type in zero, and then one. Um, the area is always the area to the left of the value that you're trying to find. So if my z value um, if I'm trying to find the z-value for um, the bottom 20%, the area that I would type in there is 0.2, okay, because that's the bottom 20%. But then I always say, okay, so what if I want the top 30%? 
Then here I would type in 0.7 because that means they're 70% below if you're doing the top 30%. Let's go ahead and do the bottom 20%. What would be the Z value for that? So you type in area equals 0.2, mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. So 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 1. I like that. And hit enter, and there we go. This number is not a probability. It is the z-score for cutoff score for the bottom 20%. Okay. One reason I know this should be negative is because this is less than 50%. If I did exactly 50%, I should get a z-score of 0. If I did you know, a number that would be higher than 50%, then this will be a positive um, score. So. That's a little intro on how to use normal CDF and inverse norm. Um, we'll be using these for all of chapter 6 um, to help you with your homework.